Today is April the 5th, 2024. If you've been following this journal series, let me know in the comments below. But if you have, I challenged myself this year to read books that I'm not familiar with, to read books in areas that I know nothing about. And two areas that I picked is mathematics. Yes, I was born without that Asian gene and also physics. And I'm doing this because I'm trying to expand my mind and, and I'm trying to learn new things and I'm trying to be adventurous. One of the benefits of doing this though so far, I think I've received one of the benefits of doing this so far, is I've started to discover uncanny, uncanny connections between two different realms that seem to, to not really have a direct connection between the world of physics and communication. And this has been a really interesting thing that I've kind of stumbled across. I'll tell you about it. You see, when you think about communication skills, one of the foundational tools in which we all use to communicate is our voice. So then let's, let's dig a little deeper. What, what, what is the human voice? What is it? What's a voice? Well, if you try to take it down to its most granular form, you go, well, a voice is uh, it's a series of sounds that we all make. Okay, let's, let's take that a little deeper again. What are sounds? Okay, well, well, sounds are vibrations. Okay, vibrations are almost different frequencies, right? And all of a sudden now, the moment you speak, you're creating vibrations. And depending on how you direct the airflow, depending on how you shape your tongue, you shape your lips, you manipulate your palate, depending on how you do all of this with all the articulators that you have, you're then able to create a certain series of vibrations. And then these vibrations, they float through the air. And if there's somebody else there receiving those vibrations, those vibrations then, they, they, they vibrate and, and people, can, people can kind of, kind of, it vibrates into their ears and then as it vibrates into their ears, it creates a sound for the other person, right? Right now, no one's here. These vibrations are going nowhere. It's actually quite sad when you think about it. It's fine. Continue in. Don't get sidetracked. I talk to myself. Is that a sign of insanity? So, so if, we, if we keep following that train of thought, that means that depending on what I do with my mouth and my articulators, I can create specific vibrations that float through the air. And then these vibrations literally don't just go into other people's ears, it goes into their body. Now hold that thought for a second. You've all experienced this before. You've been in a room where someone's really sad, someone's really down and and someone's just not feeling good. And when you walk into that room, just from looking at their face and then the moment they open their mouth, you immediately feel sad. And then I know you've been around people who, who the moment you, you, you see them from afar, you see the look on their face and then the moment they see you, they're like, oh, hello, good to see you. Because of those very vibrations that they create, oh, it just jolts you with energy and you feel fantastic. You've experienced this before too. And, and you've experienced this in many other places. People who create movies, directors and producers, they, they spend millions upon millions of dollars and then give it to Hans Zimmer because it's fantastic. And, and, and Hans Zimmer creates music specifically for certain scenes that last 20 to 30 seconds, but these scenes are so powerful, not only because of the actor's ability to use their instrument to be able to portray emotion in their script and their delivery, but also Hans Zimmer's there to create the music that is the backing track. And what is music? Music is sounds. What is sounds? Vibrations. So then these movies, producers and directors create these soundtracks through musicians that are strategically placed to get you to feel different things at different moments. One of the reasons I think we love movies is because movies make us feel. Movies, movies can make us feel a series of different emotions within an hour and a half. And it feels like a roller coaster and it's such a fun ride. And I think what people ultimately don't realize is you're able to make other people feel every time you open your mouth and you speak. Scientifically, it seems that the evidence is there 
that this instrument you have genuinely can change how other people feel because it's a series of vibrations that will literally vibrate others. It will move them. Your voice is such a powerful instrument and we can create vibrations that are kind. We can create vibrations that are loving. We can create vibrations that are compassionate or we can use this instrument to create vibrations that are cruel. We can use this instrument to create vibrations that are mean, nasty. As you go through your day today, set an intention. Use this instrument to brighten someone's day. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You know, earlier this morning, I went down to the grocery store to get a few things for my family. And I, I just saw that the grocery person, I could tell that their day has just been monotonous and they're bored out of their brains, saw them yawning multiple times. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna use my instrument to try to pep them up a little bit. And I got a bit too excited about doing this. So I kind of went up to them and I said, hello. And I, and I went a little bit too high because I, I, you know, it was the morning. I didn't warm up my voice. So I was like, hello. And I was like, sorry, still trapped in puberty. And then he kind of chuckled a little bit and, and, and just looked at me and smiled. And I said, I know I've got the, uh, I, I, I'm actually 87. It's just the Asian genes make me look like I'm a lot younger. Still going through that puberty. And just having a bit of fun with him, you know, and it wasn't even that funny in hindsight. Actually, when I think about it now, I think he just gave me a pity laugh. But it was fine because I knew I snapped them out of it. I knew that little bit of, I sent that person some good vibrations that morning, you know, and, and I hoped that I was able to make that person's day just that little bit, 0.01% better. And it makes a difference. Don't doubt the power of using your instrument to spread a little bit of joy, love, kindness, compassion, because then that person may go home and then spread a little more joy, love, compassion with their family members. There's a ripple effect. There is. So powerful. The next time you open your mouth, set the intention. Let's send some good vibes out there. And I hope when you think of good vibes now, you think of it really, really differently. If enough of us send good vibes out there, we can change the frequency of the world, we can change the world. We can make the world a more loving, kind and compassionate place.